what you get. No gimmicks, no nonsense, no hassle. So take a good look. That's the debt clock. And this is your wake-up call. Buy gold and silver from Roslyn Capital. Call Roslyn Capital now to get your free gold kit, free silver kit, and free IRA kit with smart ways you can transfer or roll over your IRA. Call 800-329-8900. 800-329-8900. That's 800-329-8900. All right, welcome back. New York health care workers are required to have their first COVID shot by today or else they may lose their jobs. New York Governor Kathy Hochul says that she is prepared to call in medically trained National Guard members, retirees and workers outside of New York to help address potential staffing shortages caused by the vaccine mandate. Meanwhile, Military.com reporting today that House lawmakers are now backing legislation that would prohibit the military from dishonorably discharging troops who refuse the COVID-19 vaccine. Let's welcome in now retired Navy SEAL and former FBI agent Jonathan Gillum. John, great to see you again. Good to be with you, my friend. You know, initially when they started passing these lockdown orders, we talked about the additional stress that's put on police officers because this was in the middle of all these uh, protests, violent uprisings in urban America. And now we see how these vaccine mandates are hurting police forces. We see uh, the New York police commissioner begging his officers who haven't been vaccinated to get vaccinated yet. We hear uh, the uh, state police union in Massachusetts saying that there's going to be a mass exodus of Massachusetts state's troopers because of this and, and the military too. I mean, I've heard about a massive exodus of Navy SEALs leaving as well because of this vaccine mandate. Yeah, you know, this is, it's a very interesting time, John. I mean, we were talking together three years ago. We, well, some of us could have conceived what would happen, but I think a lot of people are, have completely been taken off guard by the uh, oppressive, socialistic, even communistic type of tactics that are being used here. And here's what's interesting about this. You know, I was listening to Eric uh, Bowling on your show there just a minute ago, and I agree with everything he said. But uh, I've not been vaccinated, but I had COVID a year ago. They won't talk about, you know, your natural antibodies. They won't talk about the other types of medicines that actually uh, reduce the severity of this uh, uh, of this uh, virus. My own mother got two doses of the Moderna and then contracted COVID about a month later. Then when she went in and got the monoclonal antibody, she was better in, within eight hours. So th they're not allowing anyone to make their own decision on if they want to get stuff to help uh, prevent this or lessen it. They won't give us the real stats on how many people are actually dying from this. And so what you're seeing here, um, I, one thing is very hopeful is you're starting to see people get together and defy. And if we can continue this trend where people stand up against the government together, not like in the military where one per, everybody says they're going to volunteer, one person raises their hand and everybody steps backwards. You don't want that. Nothing gets fixed. But with this administration and uh, with the culture that the left has, what we're seeing is um, oppression like never before, but we're also starting to see Americans stand together like never before in modern history, and that we really do need to see that more. Yeah, particularly with the military, you know, people ask, like, look, these folks are used to taking orders. Um, they are ordered to take vaccines and medications all the time, especially those who get deployed a lot. So what's the difference here? And I say, you know, from the folks that I have talked to in the military who've been around for a while, they remember very vividly uh, the anthrax vaccine mandate, and that still hangs in I everyone's mind. I mean, you know, I, I hear from so many veterans who say, yeah, that literally, I'm not going to say it on TV, but, uh, you know, fill in the four-letter word there that you want for how bad that was for everybody. And those memories don't go away. And that's when, you you know, you have some of these senior non-commissioned officers now, and the junior guys go to them and say, what should I do? And they say, look, this is what happened with the anthrax. That's all I can tell you, right? Yeah, and, I, and I've even been guilty of that, where I heard about these these 200 guys, and I made a joke that, you know, they own the, the government owns their body. They should just do what they're told. But but in reality, you know, when we were taking the anthrax uh, shots, we, we didn't know what was in those. We didn't know what the effects were. Everybody was wondering if we were just going to drop dead. Um, you, you know, the, the, the fact is, if these individuals want to stand together, uh, I, I look at the same as I would look at it as an unlawful order to kill innocent civilians. The fact is that these individuals are being told to put something in their body that they know nothing about. Right. We don't live in Hitler's regime. And I think, you know, 
yes, we did it with the anthrax. I have no idea what they did to my body. And I don't think, I don't agree with it. You know, when I was in, you think a little bit differently, but on the outside, that's not what our military is for. We don't have no. 1% of the population step forward to serve so that we can treat them as a, a medical experiment. I mean, that's wrong. Yeah, you know, especially when and it's so, got to be so offensive to so many of these folks because you still have uh, this, you know, not ideal conditions at VA medical centers around the country. They can't get the basic help they need without yeah. incredible wait times and a lot of bureaucracy. And now this is being forced on them, uh, active duty anyway. Jonathan, great to see you. Wish we had more time to you talk. Got, we got to get I, to commercial break. I, Go ahead. John, one other thing, yeah. one other thing real quick. They're saying that global warming is a national security threat. But th the way they're doing this, they don't even take national security into account when they're doing all this stuff. It's, they just don't care. They'll they, fire them. They don't care. They don't care about uh, you know police departments around the country losing officers for this and other reasons. Uh, and the, you know the, the most confounding thing to me are these healthcare workers that don't want to take the vaccine are being forced to, for some reason they don't want to take it. We don't and know why. And replace them with foreigners. Replacing them with foreigners. Yeah. I mean, this is crazy. So many things, crazy so many time. things wrong with this on so many levels, John. We got to run though. Great to see you. Thanks so much. All right, still ahead this hour, Liz Cheney and her road to re-election in 2022, a little bumpy. So she's trying to clear the record. What she just said about gay marriage on 60 Minutes plus former President Trump taking a shot at Cheney over the weekend with a meme, if you can believe that. We'll talk about that and more next. They said over the radio that we're under attack. I'm thinking, they're gonna attack us in our country? I thought we're probably gonna go to war. This is what we trained for. The stories of the men and women in the military who have sacrificed so much for us are fading from the headlines, but their sacrifice will last a lifetime. If you look at me, I look fine. But I'm not. Invisible wounds are very serious. Now is the time for healing and recovery. But many of these wounded service members can't do it alone. They need your help, and they need Wounded Warrior Project. When someone approaches me and says, hey, thank you for your service, it means a whole lot in my heart. At Wounded Warrior Project, we provide free, life-changing programs and services that can change a person's life forever. Your gift of just $19 a month can make a lasting difference in the life of a warrior and their family. Up until this point, I, I was really alone. But then the family that I had missed from the Army was suddenly right there. Wounded Warrior Project has given me something that Nobody else, nobody else could. They've given my family, their grandma, back. Call or go online with your gift of $19 a month and we'll send you this Wounded Warrior Project blanket. Our physical war and conflict may have ended, but the impact of that war is gonna continue on. Remember 9-11 and donate to Wounded Warrior Project. Please give to those who gave so much for us. Call or go online right now. Have you noticed more bruising as you age? You're not alone. Now you can help improve the appearance of bruises with Dermen Moisturizing Bruise Formula. Help your bruised skin. Find Dermen Moisturizing Bruise Formula now in the first aid aisle. Every day your body's engaged in a microscopic battle and it's your immune system's job to detect, deflect, and destroy these invaders and to keep you healthy. One daily dose of Texas Superfood is loaded with the vitamins and minerals and nutrients from 55 raw fruits and vegetables. So your best defense these days is a healthy immune system, and Texas Superfood can help you get it. So if you can't, won't, or don't eat all your fruits and vegetables every day, Texas Superfood is made for you. Welcome back to John Bachman. Now, Wyoming Congresswoman Liz Cheney now says she was mistaken to oppose same-sex marriage. She 
made this admission during an interview on 60 Minutes. Take a listen. I was wrong. Um, I was wrong. This is an issue that um, we have to recognize, uh, you know, as, as human beings, that we need to work against discrimination uh, of all kinds. Cheney, despite having a lesbian sister, came out famously against same-sex marriage once upon a time when it was trendy to do so. Also, former President Trump taking on Liz Cheney during his rally in Perry, Georgia, over the weekend. The former president laughed, lashing out after she voted to impeach him. For four straight years, the left carried on a deranged resistance campaign, the likes of which our country has never seen before. It was a lie and another lie and lie after lie. They're having epic failures. The vice chair of the unselect committee is Liz Cheney. The, the select committee on the impeachment, of course, Liz Cheney getting some news this week because she, or last week rather, because she was endorsed by former President Bush. Uh, and we shared with you a meme on Friday from Grand Old Memes, this one, George Bush's face on Liz Cheney's body. President Trump also putting this one up on the big screen at the rally to much delight from the attendees. Let's welcome in now Isabel Brown from Turning Point USA, also back with us, the host of the Dan O'Donnell Show on News Talk 1130. Dan O'Donnell and the host of the Ari Hoffman Show on 570 KVI, Ari Hoffman. All right, um, so, you know, I think this Wyoming House race is interesting when most Wyoming House races in history don't get a lot of national media coverage. Obviously, the national name recognition, Liz Cheney, in this race, uh, Isabel, but we do see kind of a classic matchup between the establishment uh, the folks who are classified as swamp creatures, and Donald Trump and his supporters. He's obviously weighing in here supporting Liz Cheney's main challenger in that. But, you know, does this, you know, where do you see this going, uh, Isabel? Because it's never good to have this kind of open animosity inside the party. Uh, but you're dealing with impeachment here. A lot of stuff. I, I wouldn't necessarily say this is based in animosity, John. I love that Wyoming has become a conversation that has enlarged to a national scale about what the future of the Republican Party and the conservative movement is, though. It's not necessarily based in grudges being held by a former president from an impeachment or someone who doesn't necessarily align with the new wave of the conservative movement in the Republican Party, but rather that the American people and what we value and what we are looking for in our leadership is missing from the Republican Party and the GOP establishment today. Individuals in Washington, D.C., particularly those who are part of familial dynasties or who have been there for their entire career, maybe decades on end, are out of touch with what American voters are looking for. And I find this interview that Liz Cheney gave particularly interesting. When politicians flip-flop on issues like this, it's impossible for voters and constituents to understand where they truly stand on the issues that matter to them, why they are electing the individuals that they choose to send to Washington, D.C. So I'm not necessarily in agreement that this is based in animosity, but rather it highlights the need for Republican politicians moving forward to move out of this idea of establishment republicanism, of a career in Washington, D.C., and bowing down to the grand old party, but rather putting the needs of the American people first. Donald Trump was really the first Republican elected official, let alone even president, that did that in my lifetime. And I think he spurred a new movement in the conservative movement moving forward. I think the other thing, too, here, Ari, for longtime Republicans is, you know, the Cheney, the Bush, the neocon ideology really cut against everything that they ran on when George W. Bush first ran. He was going to be a Washington outsider. Uh, the governor of Texas was going to shake things up, focus on domestic issues, not get involved in all this foreign policy stuff. But, of course, 9-11 happens, and his whole agenda gets rerouted towards that. That aside, you know, again, Liz Cheney represents the old guard. Donald Trump represents the new kind of brand of the, of the Republican Party. The issue, though, is Liz Cheney's going to be able to raise a lot of money. Who wins out long term in this race, specifically Liz Cheney or her challenger? Is that Liz Cheney types, the Georgia Bush types, the Dick Cheney types created Donald Trump. A lot of people like me who voted for George Bush the second time at least, voted for him and thought, oh, this is going to be a more conservative option. And then unfortunately, it seemed like there was no difference between that term and that of a Democrat. There wasn't very much difference at that time. Now, granted, the Republican Party has gone a little bit more to the right and the Democrat Party has gone a little bit more to the left. But at the same time, neither one had conservative principles. And Donald Trump's policy was conservative principles. Whatever you want to say about his Twitter account or meme tweets or anything else about that, 
he ran and he enacted conservative policies. And it seems like the Liz Cheney's of the world are struggling to keep up and now working for jobs or trying to get jobs on MSNBC or CNN when they eventually get voted out. Harriet Hagman is the uh, candidate that Donald Trump has endorsed against Liz Cheney. Um, you know, obviously this is going to go on for a long time. But Dan, how big of an impact do you think this Cheney versus Trump uh, feud, how big of an impact does that have on the you know, bigger picture in 2022? Truthfully, not nearly as much as CNN and MSNBC are making this. The far bigger civil war is within the Democratic Party, as evidenced by the battle, the pitched battle over the $3.5 trillion infrastructure bill. But with respect to Liz Cheney, I think what this is more about than any sort of ideological divide within the Republican Party, it's that rank-and-file conservatives and Republicans are simply tired of Republicans being used by the media to blast other Republicans. It's the same thing with Adam Kinzinger in Illinois. We all know the game that the media plays whenever they want Trump blasted. Or I remember years ago, John McCain being used every time they needed to blast President George W. Bush. It's just more of the same. And frankly, I think conservatives are just tired of it. I think a lot of people are, are quite frankly, tired of it and see through it. And again, I think that's why you have these two competing ideologies in the Republican Party. But, uh, you know, we'll leave it there. Dan, Ari, Isabel, great to see everyone. Thanks so much. All right, guys, stay with us. Your catch up is next. The Solo Stove Bonfire is the hottest new reason to get outside. With its signature 360 airflow design, firewood gets just the right amount of oxygen. And since it's easy to light, it gets going fast. It's America's favorite smokeless fire pit for a reason. Bonfire is made for when those good moments become lasting memories. Save $10 using promo code TV10 at solostove.com. Do you have any idea how your mattress affects your body and how well you sleep? Is it too hard or too soft, causing you to wake up with sore shoulders, back, or hips? Are you uncomfortable because you're too hot or too cold? Now you can get the total body support you need and the better sleep you want with the new MyPillow mattress topper. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell. When I invented my new MyPillow mattress topper, I made it to have everything you'd ever want in a topper. My mattress topper helps give you the support you need, helps relieve your pressure points, and regulates your body temperature for you as an individual. It comes with a 10-year warranty. You can wash and dry the cover. It's made in the USA, and I back it with my 60-day money-back guarantee. Go to MyPillow.com or call now to get your very own MyPillow mattress topper. Use the promo code, and Mike will give you 30% off and two standard MyPillows absolutely free. Order now. MyPillow topper delivers on its promise to give me a better night's sleep. I can sleep all night through and it's a miracle for me. Mike's exclusive three layer design starts with a layer of MyPillow foam providing you superior support and comfort. The second layer of transitional foam evenly distributes body weight and helps relieve uncomfortable pressure points for optimal comfort. Mike's ultra soft outer layer is a patented temperature regulating cover that helps keep you at your ideal sleeping temperature all night long. Unlike other sleep systems costing thousands, the MyPillow mattress topper takes comfort to a whole new level without any wires, remotes, or moving parts. Call now or go to MyPillow.com to order your MyPillow topper. Use the promo code to save 30%. When you do, Mike will give you two of his standard MyPillows absolutely free. That's right, two standard MyPillows free and 30% off your MyPillow topper today. Order now. I personally guarantee it's going to change your bed into the most comfortable bed you'll ever 